Hello. And welcome. We have a penny list for you. What up, everybody? We are here with the penny list. Uh, it's about what, 38, 39 items total, I believe. Uh, it is all coloring books, activity books, things like that. Uh, the reason I actually like this penny list uh, is because a lot of these can resell well. Some of the generic ones, not so much. Most of those are going to get donated for me. But a lot of the licensed stuff, uh, what I end up doing with it is I hang on to it. And then when I find other items, whether it be Walmart, you know, uh, Target, things like that. So, like, the, for instance, if I find Frozen toys, right, Frozen 1 or 2, I'll bundle it with some of these coloring books and things like that. Same with the Trolls stuff. Uh, and when I find those on discount deals or other penny items that line up with that same product, I'll bundle it together, make it a little more enticing, make a little extra money on it. Oh, also... Uh, the list is live on my website, www.suburbanbeard.com. All right, hop into your web browser, go to www.suburbanbeard.com, and from here you will click on Penny List. You'll see the most recent one at the top. Uh, I will have it here for you. I did not find any visuals online. I have not been to the store yet either, so if I do, I will update this with visuals. Uh, if you want the printable version, you click Printable Penny List. This will take you to a Google Drive folder where you can go in, print this off, screenshot it, copy it, whatever you want to do, uh, so it's a little easier to shop in the store. Without further ado, here you go. What are Dollar General Penny items? Dollar General Penny items are discontinued items, after holiday items, seasonal items. Uh, so it could be anything from toys to sprinklers to Christmas candy to Easter candy, you name it, something's always being discontinued. It can be an item they don't want to carry anymore, right? Like here's an example. This is an item they're no longer carrying or maybe the manufacturer doesn't make it anymore and they're done. So it's a discontinued item. When they clearance out their items at Dollar General, uh, they'll usually start at a 10, 15%, uh, 25%, things like that. Some items get discontinued per store just because an item doesn't sell very well inside of a store. But when you first see an item go on clearance, there's a big, big, strong, high percentage possibility that item will someday be a penny. Now, sometimes they penny it out quick, and it could be a week, could be two weeks. Other times, it can take a month, two months sometimes, even until the item becomes a penny and needs to be actually clearanced out. And that can be based on region, district, everything else. When they clearance out their items, and they want them pulled off the shelves, traditionally, a list comes out anywhere between Thursday through Sunday to the stores. They're given a list of all the items they need to be removed, because on Tuesday, they're going to be down to a penny and they drop them down to a penny when it's supposed to be clearance taken off the shelves shipped back or thrown out or whatever the each store does and when those items are a penny that's when we come in swoop in find them grab them and pay a penny for these items it's not hundred percent it takes a lot of work sometimes but totally worth it if you can keep track and see what's going on To get started with penny shopping, the most important thing you need is a list. A list of items with names, UPC codes, things like that. Uh, and with that is also getting the visuals. So the way I operate is as soon as I get a list, I get it together, put it on YouTube. It'll have a breakdown of all the items, the pictures of what they look like, uh, and everything else you'll need to get going. Uh, on top of that, as always at least the day before the item is live as a penny, I will have it on my website. A full list, and then below that you'll see all the pictures of the items. 
I will also have a link on that website to a printable penny list in the Google Drive file so you can print it out and take it with you. You're going to want to have that list handy so you know what to look for and different areas in the store where it might be. Uh, this is one of the most exciting things you can do as an adult. It's like a real life treasure hunt and it's awesome. Not every store is going to have the same items and chances are you won't find every item at every store, but having that list is the number one step. Hey, where do you keep your penny items? And not asking for penny items seems like a simple rule, but here's the main thing. I, I've literally seen people walk in and say, hey, where's your penny section? Where are your penny items? And if you don't know, I'd probably ask the same thing. Every employee is gonna tell you there's no such thing. We don't have those. I don't know what you're talking about. And as soon as you ask them or somebody else in the store, or they're gonna have somebody else in the store do it, run and go double check, make sure all the penny items have been pulled off the shelf. It's almost like giving them a big heads up that that's what you're looking for. And they don't always want to sell them. Most aren't supposed to sell them or they're going to sell them, but they don't want you to be able to get them. So it, it will hinder everything you're trying to do when looking for penny items. I know that item's only a penny. Somebody else got it online. You don't want to go down drama road. You don't want to cause a bunch of headaches. You want to start arguing. Biggest part of that is if you're going to go back to this store, you're going to see these people weekly if you're going out penny shopping weekly or more or anything else. And if you ever want help with anything or anything in the store trying to find actual deals, you'll be a lot, you know, you'll be in their better graces in the long run. If you're just cool, let it go, let them say what they're saying and just let them be. And the way Dollar General rotates their employees between different stores and everything, there's a good chance within a couple months, they won't even be there. They don't have it at this store. I don't get it. Other people got it. Why can't I? Why MMV is one of the biggest rules. Your mileage may vary. That really breaks down. Not every city, state, region, you know, difference between home stores or NCI as you might hear them called or a regular store or a market. They may not even carry the same items or their items may have a different UPC barcode and they're not penning out. It's completely common. The biggest example, I live in Ohio. When all the college stuff pennied out last year, none of it did in Ohio. So just because you see it doesn't mean you'll always be able to get it. I wish you could so we could all go find the same stuff, but it happens that way. Could you check the price on this for me? It's supposed to be a penny. If you go up asking if you can price check the item, as soon as you hand it to them and if they actually price check it for you, they may say, oh, sorry, we can't sell you this item and can just leave it behind the counter. Because no matter what, every store, retail store, has the right to not sell items to customers if they don't want to, period. You don't need any rhyme or reason behind it, they just don't have to. So, when price checking, that's where it's so important to make sure you have the app under that list function in the bottom middle to scan the item in your store, at your selected store, to make sure it is a penny. I'm gonna take just one of these items in my cart and see if I can get it for a penny. Putting every item in your cart is another very important rule. You may be looking and just scanning some items, right? And you have one in your hand, you're scanning it. Oh, it's a penny, you put it in your cart, but you also notice two other items hanging on the shelf that you think might be a penny. Grab them all, put them in your cart. You can scan them when you get a chance. It could be another penny shoppers there, so you could miss out. It could be they're actually about to go back and start clearing out items. And if they're not in your cart, they're going to take them and bring them in the back. So I'll grab stuff, all the whole rack of it and a bunch of items, put them in my cart and start scanning that way. Plus it's a little easier. You can stay out of the way of somebody else in the aisle. And that way you're not as rushed trying to like scan everything real fast just on the shelf. Yeah, it looks clean and organized to me just like a lot of other clearance sections. Clean up after yourself. This is my number one pet peeve in Dollar Generals. Well, actually, just kind of anywhere clearance section. If you're going through and scanning a bunch of stuff, just put it back or put it up. Or if you have, see like three of something sitting on the shelf in the way, as opposed to just throwing it out of the way, stick it up on a rack, put it in a bin or container. It takes two seconds and then it's easier for you to scan while you're doing it. And honestly, that's how I've gotten the reputation I have in my stores. I've reorganized entire clearance sections while I'm trying to scan and look for stuff and they love it. They already have enough on their plate and enough going on that if I can take one thing off of that, off of their plate, just by being back there, I look like an awesome person 
which I think I am. But they also know that if I come in, I'm not going to destroy their store. They're not going to give me a hard time about it. Can't find anything. How do I know it's a penny? How do I know? Like, where do I find it? The last rule is always for yourself on how you do things. Know what you're looking for before you go and know what you want. And that can be, if you have the app, obviously it makes it 10 times easier. If you need the internet, most of the stores have free Wi-Fi. But if there's a big list or a bunch of items, or you're not sure what something might look like, when you're on their free Wi-Fi, a lot of apps won't pull up. Like Instagram sometimes works, but you can't always message. And sometimes people don't get text messages, things like that when you're on the free Wi-Fi and there's no signal in the store. I personally actually print out a list of every item the name of it and the UPC code. And I try the best I can to save every item that I find on my phone in the gallery, whether I screenshot it or I download them or whatever I need to do to have them on my phone. Uh, that way I can flip through the gallery in my phone to remember what something looks like, to remember what the items are. Uh, and that is more also important if maybe your store doesn't have the free Wi-Fi. You know, maybe you don't have a printer to print out the list. So having the screenshot on your phone or using a, a free app to take notes uh, that you can have that in your phone where you, you want to be able to see everything without internet access. The one rule I do stick to, and I just think it, it's a little shady. Employees can start following you around the store thinking you're trying to steal something. If they see you with items in your hand that are 90% off and you're going hit them in the sock boxes, sometimes that usually just helps other penny shoppers. Because if you went and put them in there, I always, I, I dig in them every single time something drops down to a penny just to see what people hid in there. Uh, so just leave it out. You know, you can move it to the back of a shelf, right? Like that I find acceptable, but going and hiding it in between other stuff, but it just kind of looks bad. Alright, first, you're going to want to grab the Dollar General app. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. This is how I do it. First, you're going to hit in the bottom middle here, you're going to see that list button. Tap it. At the top, right above the white box, above that, you're going to click Change Store. This is going to open up an area of stores around you. So when you are near a store, you'll see the little blue dot on the store obviously we're not at a store so that's not going to happen but we're just going to select the store i'm going to make this my store here you hit list again you are now in the list function uh, there's a couple ways of doing things from here uh, the first you're in the top you can just type in the name of an item that you might be looking for something specific something you know or the name of or even just searching for the word you know toy seeing what comes up but i have an item here so we're going to hit that little barcode at the end of the area at the top bar there and right there and then you'll see here we just scanned a barcode so that item comes up a penny now you can add it to your list and when you do that it doesn't always stay a penny sometimes it does you can see by these other items that i've scanned they they change based on the store you're at and things like that uh, but that is the main part so when you're in there we're gonna hit the barcode again there's another one and the items a penny and you can add it to your list you don't have to add it to your list the one nice reason to is that way you know what they're called or what it might look for because if you click that item again it'll open up and you can change your store and it should show you if it's a penny or not at that other store as well other item you have is your coupon area uh, this is what I personally use when I'm looking for certain items you can hit the barcode again scan the product barcode and if there was a coupon it would show you below the coupon will always pop up under the item you scan so you'll know if it's available now some things to remember with the app is nothing is perfect uh, first since the new app has been redesigned and they got rid of an old app for the shopping cart uh, the reason you select list is because it gives you the most accurate pricing in the item if you're in the cart section which would be the cart at that store uh, and you scan an item most penny items and even most clearance won't even ring up it'll pop up with something like this item cannot be sold at store please return to store associate warning even when you scan an item uh, you can ring it up and it may just come up the wrong price uh, when that happens best way to fix it is to go back to your store selection and change store and go to just select some other random store nearby 
or any other store and then try scanning it. If it still happens, you can try closing out the app and reopening it and scanning it back at your store to see if it fixes it. Uh, this is usually what a glitch will look like. It can show random pricing like this for negative $1. Sometimes it'll just show 0, 0.00, like the item doesn't even exist. Any of these types of things are able to happen. And sometimes it's a temporary thing, no one knows why they could be working on the app. It could be an update that's coming out, anything like that. So with that, uh, these are just some of the tips and tricks of kind of working within and around the Dollar General app and anything could change in the future. Now, some of the other tricks with penny shopping and even finding items maybe nobody's found yet is learning some of the coding that you see on penny items and certain items in the store, especially like the Dollar General brand style or something they, that's specific to them. Uh, what that means is, well actually here, I'll pop up on the screen here first, all like the main codes to look for. So we'll have that somewhere around me or maybe it's here, I don't know. And with that, so I have two items here for an example. Uh, this was a toy they had last summer. It was a glitch toy because, I hope you can see that. It's hard with some of this lighting. Down there, I'll circle around it there. Uh, maybe I'll get a picture if it's better, but it says S19, S19. It says Made in China, S19. That code means that it was summer of 2019. And same with this item over here. It was a shirt I picked up with a penny, some blue dot. On their tag, you'll see FW19. And those are just for the different seasons that they have them out as and what they are, uh, and that also helps uh, employees know like when they're supposed to pull items or what items should be grouped together and things like that. So even if you see something that maybe didn't have a UPC code that pennied or you know, the blue dot that's on there or like the sandals, the biggest example of the sandals we just had, everybody found all these sandals. They had the same yellow dot that all the other ones did, but it had uh, SW18, S18, uh, 17, 16, things like that for the different years where the item came out. Uh, so it's learning that kind of stuff. And they're always in a little different place on each box tag. Uh, not everything in the store has it. So, it, but it's picking up and learning where those are and how to see them to get a better or a one up to find the items faster. Now with this, there is an official Dollar General penny item policy. The basic of the policy states that if a customer brings up an item, that's a penny, they sell it to them and ring them out. After that person leaves, them or another employee in the store is supposed to go see and double check or pull the rest of the penny items. That's where all the rules come into play that we went over with earlier, why it's so important not to ask or anything, just go in and look for them. At the same time, just like I had mentioned before, any store can decide to not sell you something just because they don't want to sell it. That's retail in the entire United States. You can go above and beyond and call and whatever, but I'm just telling you it's easier to just let it go and walk out and go to the next store because that employee will remember you later. Makes your life that much easier. Uh, what I'm going to do is right now pop up on the screen the customer service policy part of that. So I was just about ready to put this video up, but there's one main thing I forgot. And it's where in the store do you find penny items? And, you know, to me, I know where to look or where not to look, but it depends on each item. Certain surprise items could be on their normal placement on the shelf, like some Chef Boyardee had recently pennied, and it was just in the food area on the shelf. Uh, traditionally and usually, these items are in the clearance section. Because they've been clearanced down, they've been moved back, they've been put back on the clearance section in your store, which could be anywhere in the store. Some stores have it right up front on a table, which is then harder to find penny items. Some stores have it all the way in their back corner. Uh, usually by the pet food is the traditional place where you find uh, the clearance section. Uh, but it could be on end caps because they forgot to move it to the clearance section. It could be mixed in with other stuff they're in the process of taking off of shelves. You really need to learn your store Kind of see where the store moves items as they penny or as they even just clearance and keep an eye on them. Uh, sometimes you'll see those little orange tags, 25% off, 10% off, just on the shelves. Those are items that you should scan in the app and maybe add them to your list just to keep an eye on, to see when the price drops and see when the price gets lower. It's an easy way to know ahead of time sometimes when an item is keeps discounting and getting closer to that penny region. 
Uh, so definitely wanted to put that out there. Make sure you check everywhere in your store. Uh, at the same time, like if it's rugs, let's say, they're usually going to be either by rugs or in the clearance section. They're obviously not going to be in the cooler. I mean, they could be if someone's trying to hide them, but yeah. Uh, and yeah. All right. Thank you and talk to you soon. All right, YouTubes. I uh, truly hope you enjoyed the breakdown. I hope you found it useful, somewhat entertaining. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, comment below. If there's anything I missed, comment below definitely. And we'll make sure to add that maybe into a future video and uh, put this list video type deal, a breakdown of all this on the website as well. So if you're new here, hope you subscribe. Click the bell so you can get the notifications, become part of the Suburban Beard Notification Squad. Uh, and that's all I have for today. Have a great one. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the wolf pack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. In the naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the wolf pack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. What's up, DG, my old friend? I've come to shop with you again because I need to get my fix of finding awesome stuff in the clearance bin. I really want that coupon that posted up today. I can always find it in the Dollar General app. In the naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the Wolfpack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. In the naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the Wolfpack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. In DG stores, I walked alone. Can't stop scanning on my phone. Neath the halo of fluorescent lamps, I missed a deal while I tried to scan. When my eyes were shocked by the speed of their Wi-Fi, I'm so glad I didn't do a drive-by. In the naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the Wolfpack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. In the naked light, I saw 1,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the Wolfpack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. Riding with the Wolfpack in the wife's minivan. Saved a lot of money on my brand new fanny pack. Beard's got a habit. You know I gotta grab it because I gotta have it when I see it's on clearance. In the naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the Wolfpack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. In the naked light, I saw 10,000 items, maybe more. Everybody knows the Wolfpack loves to shop at Dollar General stores. Wolfpack. Love y'all.